This is a CBSN Pittsburgh special presentation. Hi, I'm John Delano, Money and Politics Editor, KDK Television, CBS Pittsburgh. And our very special guest is Ambassador Carla Sands, who is a candidate for the Republican nomination for the United States Senate from Pennsylvania. Ambassador Sands, good to be with you. Thank you for spending time with us. Thank you, John. Thank you for welcoming me and thank you to your, your, your viewers. I wanna ask about your biography, your history, because a lot of folks will say to themselves, who is Carla Sands? We've not really heard much about her. So well, let me start off by just asking you, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who is Carla Sands? Sure, so thanks for the offer. I am running to be the next US Senator from Pennsylvania. I am a pro-life, pro-First and Second Amendment constitutional conservative woman. And I grew up in Cumberland County in the middle of our great Commonwealth near the capital of Harrisburg. And I'm the oldest of seven kids from a faith-filled and loving home. I'm very blessed about that. And I attended Indiana University of Pennsylvania and Elizabethtown College. I became the third uh, in my family, the third generation doctor of chiropractic and practiced alongside my father in our hometown clinic in Camp Hill. And then my work, my education, my marriage and my diplomacy have taken me across our great country and around the world. I was amazed when I read your bio to understand that you are a chiropractor. That's correct. What led you into that field? Well, my father and grandfather were chiropractors. My father still practices part-time, believe it or not. And, um, and I'm so happy to live close to my older parents. They're 83 and 82, so I'm very blessed. But because um, they were practicing doctors of chiropractic, they encouraged me to go into that field, knowing that I could help people not be in pain, and that it's a wonderful career for folks to do if they're interested in healthcare and wellness. And so I did, I became a doctor of chiropractic and, and I did help a lot of people um, live healthier and I would say more pain-free lives. You ultimately left that field, I gather, and uh, ended up with your husband involved in basically, is it venture capital? Is that another way to describe it? Well, it was really Real private equity. And... Yeah, private equity and then privately owned and operated uh, real estate of different kinds. And that's what we did. But we also raised a lot of money for worthy causes and for can candidates. We did what Ronald Reagan said to do, work to get elected the most conservative, electable individuals to office. And so we helped a lot of people. In fact, there's nobody else in this race that I have seen year after year, decade after decade, contributing five and six figures every year to the RNC, the Republican National Committee, in the trenches, helping to get Republicans elected because we know we're the party of good ideas. We're the party of strong families, strong small business, and we're the party of the Constitution. We, wanna, we want to uphold the Constitution and our rule of law in America. Well, speaking of contributions, you were on board with Donald Trump when he ran for president in 2016, yes? Yes, I was proud to support then Donald Trump as a candidate, as I have every single Republican candidate for president in my adult life. And so I worked hard to help him get elected, personally contributed, raised a lot of money for him. And he appointed me to his economic advisory council and then as his ambassador to Denmark. I'm the only candidate in this race that has worked on America first the entire time of the Trump administration. Many people are saying they're America first because they're running in Pennsylvania for the Senate. I actually have the receipts. I've been doing it day in and day out the entire Trump administration. I'm the only candidate in this race who actually worked for President Trump, putting forward America first policies and creating thousands of jobs right here at home while I was the US ambassador to Denmark. For instance, we created thousands of jobs because we increased US exports to Denmark. We also worked to secure the Arctic region. And I was awarded the Department of Defense's highest civilian honor, the Medal for Distinguished Public Service. Why do you wanna be 
a U.S. senator. You've had such a successful career outside of government. Why do you want to be a U.S. senator? That's so. My, that's what my dad asked. That my dad asked me that, and he was like, "Why would you want to do this?" Because I have a 21 year old daughter, and I believe that the leftists in America are taking our country. Day by day, we can see they were always on the offense, and Republicans try to compromise with them, but they do not honor our values here in Pennsylvania. They are attempting to really dismantle the greatest country the world has ever seen. So what I am doing is I am fighting to put Pennsylvania first and put America first. We know that the Trump policies of lowering regulations on our farmers, on our energy workers, is good lowering taxes on business so we are competing with the world so we can win is good our kids need to be educated without being indoctrinated these are all things that america first puts forward i will work to ban crt at the federal level we see the biden inflation is eating away at our pennsylvania families ability to take care of their family it's unconscionable printing trillions of dollars when we're coming out of this pandemic successfully, they've thrown gas on the fire, and now we are paying the price at the pump, at the grocery store, in everything that we purchase. I will work to defund these bad line items that this administration, the radical Democrats, have passed over the last year. It's terrible for Pennsylvania, and I will work to make sure our border is secure. The radical Democrats and the Biden administration have an open border in our southern border Fentanyl and criminals are pouring over our border. It must be secured. I will work in Washington to make sure that happens. I lost a relative at, on Christmas day to fentanyl overdose. This is real and affects every Pennsylvania family. We must secure our border. We must stop the Biden inflation. Our kids should not be indoctrinated. We need to protect Pennsylvania families make sure our energy sector and our farmers are secure and not tortured by the Green New Deal regulations that attempt to put them out of business. I will work on all these issues in Washington and I will lead in Washington for Pennsylvania, not just fight, but lead, and I will never back down. Well, you have certainly covered a gamut of issues and I'd like to talk to, a, to about a couple of them with you. Um, but first, I want to raise the issue that has been raised by your opponents, uh, some sure. of your opponents, basically accusing you, Dave McCormick, and Mehmet Oz of being political tourists, or that's one of their phrases. The other is carpetbaggers uh, galloping in to Pennsylvania, carpetbaggers galloping into Pennsylvania because you have spent most of your life outside of Pennsylvania, in your case, California, and I guess in Denmark. Um, what's your response? Did you move back to Pennsylvania just to run for the US Senate? It's a fair question, John. My Pennsylvania ancestors fought in the American Revolution. They fought in the Civil War. I have deep roots in Pennsylvania. This is my time to fight to save our country. And we know that Pennsylvania, I am the only candidate that they can trust to put forward America first in Washington for them. Newt Gingrich endorsed my campaign and said, she's gonna secure the border. She's gonna fight for our Pennsylvania families. He was born and raised in Harrisburg. Newt Gingrich knows. And he says, he's the, I am the only candidate that Pennsylvania can trust. I actually had my residency in Pennsylvania while I was the US ambassador. I voted in the 2020 election in Pennsylvania. That's nonsense. They can say that about other candidates, not about me. They're making it up. I voted in the 2020 election as a Pennsylvania resident, although I was still posted in Denmark as our US ambassador. But understand, that's like a military posting. So I was working as if in the military where we we get our mail there in a, an American post office in Denmark, where we had months where we had no mail because of the pandemic. We had no flights coming in and out of Denmark. It was a unique time. But I'm happy to be living close to my older parents, close to my siblings and their spouses and children. And I feel very blessed to be in Pennsylvania and be able to offer Pennsylvania the most accomplished candidate 
I've worked with the White House, the DOD. I worked with the Departments of State, Commerce, Energy, Interior, even the Senate Armed Services Committee and the Senate and the Congress in order to get good things done on behalf of all the American people. Those are skills no one else in this race has, and I'm ready to roll up my sleeves on day one. I don't need to get up to speed. I'm ready on day one to work for them. Do you expect President Trump to endorse you? I'd be honored to have President Trump's endorsement, of course, but I never get ahead of President Trump. What I do know is I want the endorsement and the vote of every Pennsylvania voters. They know they can count on me. I will never back down. I will always be on the offense for them. And I care about the people of Pennsylvania in every region. I come from the center, but I love the West and I love the East. And I know I'll be able to earn the support of the suburban voters. They want safe streets and safe neighborhoods. They are tired of the leftist for them and their children. Let me uh, ask you, do, do you think you are the most conservative Republican running in this primary? What I do know is I have supported our Republican National Committee and our Republican candidates for decades. The party knows me. They know my capabilities. And I'll be able to hold that wing of our electorate together. But the people that love and support President Trump know that I supported America First policies for the last four plus years. They know they can trust me. And I will also be able to get some Democrats to come in because they know I want to be the energy senator. I want to be on the energy committee. I've already told leadership in the Senate. I want to grow our Pennsylvania energy and make more opportunity. So our kids and grandkids don't have to leave the Commonwealth for opportunity. They can find it here at home. That's my goal. The United States and the world needs Pennsylvania energy. They need our products that we make. I want to grow manufacturing. I want to grow our energy sector. I also want to grow the products that come from our energy sector. We can do this. I will work with whoever is elected governor to turn around the 40 year slide that Pennsylvania has been in that has hollowed out our small towns across the Commonwealth. We can reverse it, but it's gonna take real effort and energy. We saw what President Trump did in four years. We can get this done, but it will take great will and an offensive capability, never backing down, saying the, the left has been on the march and we've been backing down every time and compromising. It's time for the left to compromise. We are gonna take our country back, restore rule of law, secure our border, grow our energy, protect our farmers, make sure our kids get educated, not indoctrinated, and kill this Biden inflation. That is my goal. And John, can I just share my website with your viewers? Yes, go right ahead. We would love to come to your community and visit with you. Please go to carlasands.com. You can sign up to volunteer decide that you'd like to have a meeting with some friends in your organization, or in, and you can also contribute. This is gonna be a very expensive race. We have very, very powerful people with different ideology. We need to take our country back humbly. I'm asking for your help. We can get it done together. And right behind you on the screen, they can see carlasands.com. You have it right. right up there. I have a couple quick questions uh, to wrap up with. Um, I did want to ask you about Senator Pat Toomey, who yes. many would regard as one of the most conservative uh, members of the U.S. Senate on a lot of issues, particularly fiscal issues. How do you think Senator Toomey has done as a senator for Pennsylvania? Well, you know, I've talked to Senator Toomey and I've talked to Senator Santorum. They both have a lot of experience. They have a lot of wisdom to share in their experience in the Senate. And we know that Senator Toomey has been very uh, fiscally conservative, very powerful in banking, making sure we don't over-regulate our banking sector. We want to support American business. So I do take on his guidance. I was disappointed that he voted to impeach President Trump in what I consider to be a political hit job by the left. At the same time, he has done a lot of good things for Pennsylvania. So. As I look at the landscape, I want to take on guidance from any elected official that's done good by Pennsylvania. That's my goal, to take on 
the wisdom that I can, that they can share with me so that I can be a better US Senator. I'm ready on day one with the capabilities, but as far as them imparting their experiences, I think that it's true, truly valuable. Two last questions. Do you think, you noted that you voted for President Trump in Pennsylvania. Do you think Pennsylvania voted for President Trump? Do you think the president, President Trump won Pennsylvania in 2020? So Pennsylvania is definitely a Trump state. We're a mostly working class energy state. We're agrarian. This is, this is Trump territory. But I will refer you to Rand Paul's comment last week. He said, was the election stolen? He said, yes, it was, but it was stolen legally because of the Zuckerberg family and others like them that put their money into controlling how our election was held in 2020. And they did an analysis and without that private money, this is American oligarch money, controlling how that election was held, Donald Trump would be president today. So what I will do in Washington is work to ban private money from controlling how our election is held. It's unconscionable that an American oligarch could control the outcome of our elections. We have to stop it. I've got to ask you about that because I'm I'm not sure I understand. Are you suggesting that uh, Mark Zuckerberg in some way stole this election? How did he do that? So I refer you to Rand Paul's statements last week. They did a forensic an analysis of what the Zuckerberg money that he used, he used to cut out a, a nonprofit that they funneled the money to that controlled how the elections were held, where ballot, where the drop boxes were placed, how the legislation got done, where the votes were counted, how it was controlled, who even in some cases, they even sort of took over the county party apparatus to get this done by, and they put a lot of money in Pennsylvania to get this done in key counties. So they were very selective. They were very smart in how they deployed their capital. And they did actually affect the outcome of the 2020 election. I Here refer in Pennsylvania? You to Paul, in the entire country, I, I refer you to Rand Paul's statements. Hmm. A final question uh, for Ambassador Carla Sands, who's a Republican candidate for the US Senate. I am struck that this can campaign, not yours, but the campaign in general has become very negative very quickly uh, with uh, some of the other candidates. I want to just have you reflect on, do you think this is going to be a very nasty campaign between now and the Republican primary? John, the people of Pennsylvania need better representation. They need someone who's going to take on their cares and their concerns, share their problems, and have that person, their elected official, work to solve them. That's what I do. That's what I did the entire Trump administration. That's what I will do for the people of Pennsylvania. I'm focused on the voters. What other people do, I cannot control. I can only control what I personally do. And I will tell you and the voters of Pennsylvania, I want to run for you. I want to lead for you. I want to work for you. I am ready on day one, and I am the best candidate in this field. I'm the only one who was America first before they were running. I'm the only one that personally worked for President Trump and supported him in 2016, supported him in 2020. I have never wavered. I have my record. It's on record. So does everyone else. And I am just offering my services to the people of Pennsylvania. If you want someone that will fight for you, then I would send the first female senator from Pennsylvania to Washington to represent you. Ambassador Carla Sands, it's a great pleasure to spend time with you today. Thank you so much for talking to us. Really appreciate Thank it. Thank you, John. Thanks to your listeners. This has been a CBSN Pittsburgh special presentation. We now return to our scheduled programming in progress.